Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome to Season 9 of Hermitcraft. Aha! Oh, oh, I broke the boss. Oh, put that back. I'm, I'm not a vandal. I'm a good person. <laughs> Aha! Yeah, so look around everybody. Check this out. The Hermits have been very busy. Lots of beautiful builds uh, all around us. And uh, as many of you know, if you don't know, I'm telling you right now, the Season 9 has actually been going on for about four months now. And I'm just joining it now, so I'm getting a little bit of a late start, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think we still got plenty of time to uh, do some cool stuff on the on the season here. And look at this. The hermits are helping me out already. Check this out. Community garden. Look at this. Carrots for days. Aha! Uh -huh. So my goal for today is, is basically let's get established a little bit on the server. Maybe try find a place to live. But I'm also like, I really want to go and tour like what people have been doing because there's so much stuff built on the server I'm not really sure haven't really been able to... <laughs> lol I like that uh, I haven't really been able to keep up with exactly with what's been going on so I need to go look around in, in person today on the server and see all the cool stuff oh cool check this out so if you guys are wondering what the seed looks like how the terrain is laid out this season somebody has mapped out the whole thing already and we and when you look we can see <laughs> we are right over here we're in two places at once we're, we've been entangled or something I don't know um yeah, so this is the main area right around here. That's the donut. I recognize the donut anywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's uh let's get going here. Let's stop lingering. Let's do some important stuff. Let's uh parkour. So I think the way it worked out, everybody kind of settled down around spawn and made like a little starter house. And now aw. Now that the season's been going on for a while, people are starting to branch out and set up their mega builds. So they're going a few thousand blocks out now and building big bases. I'm not sure if we're really going to see a lot of people around spawn or if they've all kind of moved on at this point. Ooh, <laughs> we're going to do it. Oh. Do, 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 do. Yes. Okay, where do we go even? I have no idea. There's there's stuff everywhere. I, got, I think I got a plan here. Tango, you got 10 minutes to help a scrub. <laughs> Boy, I wish I had one of these houses. These are all very beautiful houses. I could live in one of them, and I could store my stuff in there, and and sleep on the couch. They wouldn't mind, right? Tango! Tango! Man, he flew away. What a guy. He just left me here. He just, he just left me, though. No. <laughs> Look at you. Naked as the day you born. I'm such a scrub right now. You have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it goes without saying that I will give you what you want, right? Yes, you know? yes. So I had an idea. Okay. I, I'm a bit of a damsel in distress right now. Um, <laughs> Can I hear the voice? Give me your, give me your best oh, damsel Tango, voice. Oh, Tango, please. Please save me, Perfect. my hero. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What what can I do for you as your, as your valent knight uh -huh. in shining armor? I want a little bit of a tour of the server today, right? I thought you could show me okay. the nether hub you've been working on. You know, it, okay. it's not much that you've been doing there, but you know what? No, what it's a little been, side project. Yeah, a little yeah, side yeah. project you've been working on. If you could show okay. me that, but I also need you I to would... exile me. I, I'm sorry, what? Exile. I need you to make a portal in the Nether, send me through, break it behind, and I can't come back oh, until like I, I get enough resources. Away. Yeah. I need to go somewhere okay. that's not been uh, picked over by <laughs> somewhere where all, there's all not the hermits, towers, you know? And towers and diamond yeah, blocks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I need a fresh air. Interesting. Okay. okay. Watch your step. It's we're Wait in a transition a period here. Wait a minute. Does it not come out what? into the hub? No. There you go. No. No. No, 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 no. Wait. What? What? <laughs> That's not how this works. The you hub. Oh, Etho. You spend forever the on the hub. hub and people don't even see it when they <laughs> enter the nether? The hub is centrally located in a position that is beneficial for all communities. It is not intrinsically uh, positioned at spawn. Sounds like someone's trying to explain away their mistake right now to me. <laughs> <laughs> nope. All intentional. Uh -huh. Follow me there. Uh, okay, okay. Damsel. All right. Oh, the, these are your tunnels. Yes. They go very far. These are very impressive. Yes. So the, you notice the, the, the thing I'm kind of proud of that I like is the local address system. Yeah. See the, the numbers mile markers. There? Yeah. So you basically just say, hey, I live at yellow seven. Come come stop by, right? Yeah. 
very they're smart. all color coded and numbered so i like that yeah and then basically people just you know see like this this will be false's main base right here you just punch through and claim a claim a chunk and do what you will i've done a lot of nether work i know how long this takes this is insane yeah yeah it's 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 insane it's crazy i did like the first four segments of each i was like i'm done i'm out i yeah, can't yeah. but that was cool. after building this oh yes <laughs> this is the astral library the the inspiration was a Dude, this is so floating magical big. library in space in the void yeah so go ahead take a look around oh now i could sing praises forever <laughs> about this place this is like one of the coolest builds i've seen i i'm super proud of this one it took a long time just the concrete it was like twenty six thousand concrete just to make the box and then you got the beacon um, stars all around yep so those are all nether stars it's a combination of nether stars and you'll see like the little colored slashes uh on the walls those are exposed beacon beams yeah it's kind of it's like a hogwarts inspired library kind of thing so there's all these little like work areas everywhere so cool <laughs> little details i gotta say though uh, like in, in all the videos i've seen everybody's always flying around <clears throat> it looks so much cooler from the ground level it does it does it's yeah. like way more impressive well, you tried your and best, Tango. You know, you, you, you'll yeah, do you better know. than the next project. <laughs> Just whip some together. <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, it'll pass. It'll uh, pass. <laughs> so, all right. We, it's time time to exile, exile you me. and boot you to the curb. I choose here. <laughs> Arbitrarily. Picks, picks a spot over lava. Gas shooting. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. All right. Where am I at? I'm at mile. I, I got to remember this for when I die. Remember the mile marker, yeah. 26. 26. All right, you're out here. <laughs> this is great. Oh. Okay. Boom, boom. Doesn't build the corners. Boom, boom, boom. Just. Oh, this... I mean, you can't see the corners, right? It looks called solid. The, called the wrong person, apparently. Apparently. All right. <laughs> you. Get out. <laughs> no, no, no. You're exiled. No. Good luck to you. Thank Come you, Tango. Back if you have some wings. Oh, under a cave start. Uh oh. Oh dear. This is gonna be gnarly. This is gonna be a rough one. <laughs> Underground. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Tango knows how to pick the spots, I tell you. Okay, we just gotta go really fast. If we go really fast, nothing bad can happen, right? We'll be fine. Just fine. Holy smokes. I dodge and weave and dodge and weave. Thank you for the spot, Tango. I appreciate it. Wow! <laughs> oh, I don't want to die. Okay, we got a nice little, uh, little, little moat here. Some lava. It looks like it goes down, though. Oh, it, it goes up here. That might be... I think that's sunlight. If we can get enough blocks, we can get up here. No, oh, it's just lava. Never mind. Okay, we gotta go really fast. But we'll be fine. Oh man, that hurt. It really. Ah, oh, Tango. Oh, heroic. Yeah. Oh, what kind of exile was that? It was horrible. Oh, so disappointed. You you spawned me at like Y zero, and there's like skeletons oh. everywhere. And you had no tools. That's the worst. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you want to pick? Do you want to pick a new one? Yes, that's right. That's how you do it. Stupid. Like a professional. Uh huh. Yes, one more. One more. You can do it. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, it's always going to be underground, isn't it? Okay, we got it set. Uh, we are minus six now. In a completely. I can't get cobblestone, can I? Nope. <laughs> okay, good now. Thank you. Dude, like, what am I supposed to do in a pocket like this, Tango? You, you sent me to the abyss with no hope. I need to at least be able to dig something. Okay, we got uh, a pick. We got... I'm going to go for a sword. Okay, and that's it. That's all we need, right? This looks like it opens up to something amazing. To hope. To the... To the outside. Nope, it's just a bunch of nothing. <laughs> oh goody, we found a, a, a mine shaft. 
with a million zombies in it. <laughs> okay, we can get wood and make more tools. Oh, an iron sword drop. Nice. Iron. Very nice. Very nice. One piece. Oh, no, there's more. Okay, good. We're going to be cooking for days here, guys. It's a huge pocket. Okay, and we can make a furnace, I'm pretty sure, with the, the cobble deep slate, right? Yes, we can. We got a little bit of wood from the mine shaft. Let's go ahead and get cooking. Ooh, you see that? We got ourselves some armor. No, my torch. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, I thought I had a shield for some reason, and uh, I didn't have a shield. <laughs> That skeleton almost mopped the floor with me. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to be very protective of whatever torches we get here because there's no coal down here. This is it. This is all we're going to be able to see with these two. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. And torch. Okay, let's do this. Let's get our shields. We're going to need some kind of pants, right? Nah, we'll, we'll go for a chest plate first. Why not? Iron boots, you know it. And we're we're doing good now. Yeah. Let's get these down. I can see we're gonna have a little bit of trouble here. Because not only do we got this guy over here, we got Mr. Sneaky looking at me. I think I don't see you. Whoa! Ah, made the shield just in time. Oh, more iron. Hello, Mr. Sneaky. You wanted me to get that iron, and when my back was turned, you were gonna go kaboom, aren't you? I know how this works. Not my first day. It is my first day, but it's not my first day. Let's let's check this out. Oh, they're in a fight. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Suckers. Oh, you know what? I don't have a torch to stop it from working, though. Look. Okay, we got the one. We got the one torch that's gonna have to do it. Can't just spam them all over. Oh, ha 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 ha. Awesome. Do we dare go over here? I say we do dare. Because there's a chest there. Wait a second. Okay, we're going to light this up. What, what do we got here? <gasps> that is exactly what I wanted. Think you can mess with me? You don't know who I am. I'm afraid of your poison. I'll eat your spider eyes. Wait, there's two? Wait a second. I'm curious now. Because I broke this one and there was only one there. Okay, we got another minecart here. We break it. There's two there too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I got a shocker for you. Are you ready for this? Guys, you better sit down. I don't know if you can handle it. My inventory's full. Oh, wow. That, like, never happens. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Oh, I gotta get the horse armor. I can't leave that. I guess we better try to get up to the surface now, because we can't really hold too much more stuff. You see that sideways jump? What a guy. Been practicing his parkour. Well, I suppose it's time we head up to the surface then. And I just found... Were we in the ocean the whole time? Yep. Oh, snappers. The very first thing we see, everybody. It doesn't get much easier than this. A village right on the water with a bed, with food, all all the goodies. Uh-huh. I guess uh, this will have to do. Uh-huh, yeah. So you guys might be wondering, like, Etho, what's the deal? Why even bother going caving? Wouldn't the hermits just give you a bunch of freebies if you wanted? <laughs> Can't you hit them up for, for free elytra wings and diamond armor? And trust me, they offered, guys. They, they are very generous. I can get anything I want from them. But I wanted the... I wanted the fresh experience, like I was trying to decide how I should do this episode, and I wanted to go caving. I wanted to, you know, get the the joy of finding your first redstone and all that kind of stuff. Planting your first seeds, uh, raiding your first village. Uh, it's something I don't get too often, because usually I play these very long series that never seem to end, and, uh, <laughs> you know, you don't start fresh too often. I don't start many new worlds. Um... And I really look forward to it whenever, whenever I get a chance. Um, 
like a lot of you guys, believe it or not, have probably made more worlds than me, even though I've been playing this game for years and years. It's just, I don't do it often. But we've also gotten like a bunch of terrain updates in the last couple updates, and I haven't really gotten the fresh experience with the, the new terrain changes. Like they have a major impact on the game, and like every time you start in a new update, the experience is a little bit different. But it is, it's like way different now. <laughs> so I really enjoy that change as well to see what it's like. Uh, oh, we did not get the double tall grass. That's like the, the dream. That's how you get it, guys. If, you, if you've been wondering how I always seem to get that every season. You can get a double tall fern and a double tall grass from villages. It's like the rarest item in the game. And there's another reason I wanted a fresh start as well. It's more of a psychological reason that's that I've kind of learned. Um, it's a bit weird, but us as humans, you know, we tend to get attached to things. To people. To things. Like my coffee maker. You know, very attached to that. But even... Believe it or not, pixels in a video game. Stuff that doesn't even really exist, we can get attached to. And, and like, I can be emotionally hurt if I lose my piece of pork chop. Probably not, but if there's a story behind that, if it's a special pork chop, it'll mean a lot more to me, right? And that's kind of the thing. If, if I get a bunch of freebies from the hermits, <laughs> I don't care about those items. They don't have any stories behind them. They're just items to me. And I won't get attached. I won't get anchored to to playing on Hermitcraft if none of the stuff there has any meaning to me, right? So I, I need to make my own story as I go here. Now that being said, this is a multiplayer series and we should try to uh, get out of exile before this episode's over. We gotta rejoin the, the Hermits, right? I gotta feed my, my shopping addiction. Okay, this is actually a bit of a hairy situation, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure what to do. I might have doomed myself. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> as long as we're swimming sideways, he can't hit us. It is so much harder fighting these guys without Depth Strider. It's insane. Yes! The first guy! <laughs> no way! That's the first one of those guys I've seen and I got the trident. Back to caving. Alright, I tell you what, we're gonna make it our goal. We're allowed to leave exile once we either beat a raid, or we have to get home through the end somehow. Sounds like that would be easy, except everybody always sleeps on the server, so how am I going to get ender pearls? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out. Uh, I gotta go back to caving, though. I gotta get some, some more goodies. Oh! Whoa. Scary sounds behind me. Oh, he dropped the head. <laughs> That's number four. We can make an enchanting table now. Noise. Just for now, let's throw some level one enchantments on all our stuff. Nothing too major, but it'll help out a bit. And I'm breaking, sure. Sharpness, sure. But I guess one thing that's worth asking is, what do you guys want to see me do this season? Like, I, I kind of have been brainstorming ideas for a while. I haven't really landed on like exactly what I want to do yet. <laughs> I know for sure the one of my first projects is going to be a big redstone build. So I need to collect a lot of redstone, a lot of quartz for observers and that kind of thing um, early on here. But as far as building style and like what kind of base we're going to build on, on the server here, I'm not entirely sure. I kind of narrowed it between two things. Either we're going to go for floating islands, is what a lot of you seem to want when I asked on Twitter a while ago. Uh, like some kind of floating island build could be cool. The thing about the floating island thing, though, is it's like something I've never really done too much. That would involve terraforming. I would need to... It's like the, the worst of all building, right? Oh, that goes down. <laughs> you got to... Build in the middle of the air. You gotta build the island, so you gotta do all the terraforming yourself. 
and then you got to build the buildings on the islands and then you got to the interiors of the buildings it's, it's going to be like extremely slow but it would be a very good challenge for me because it's like something i haven't done before too much um so that's one idea the other di idea is to go for like a von sway build not true von sway like kind of mid von sway if you look at like what i did for my season seven base i would consider that light von sway uh-huh mid von sway is a little bit more unhinged a little bit more do whatever i want you know a little bit more crazy crazy me never I got the bat too. Oh, what a combo. Uh oh, there goes the shield. Man, that took forever. All right, we got 14 obsidian. Whoa. Don't scare me by the ender, man. No, no, no. Why do I keep doing that? Boat down, boat down, boat down. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what that means? Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Not like this. Not like this, guys. <laughs> that Enderman is still after me. I'm, I'm not getting out of this water. Not for a second. Let's be, let's be a little bit smart about this. I need... Oh, yeah, he's here. The worst thing to do with Enderman is panic. I'm gonna get that boat made. We're just gonna run around a bit and see if he he will teleport. Or if he forgave us. Okay. Let's be smart about it this time. We're not gonna get distracted by all the other mobs. Wait, I hear a kitty. It means we're by the village. This is it. We are finally ready for some big boy enchantments level 30. Got a few things cooking in the furnace. We might be able to do one more after this as well. I'm going to get that off of the, our pick. Oh, I need lapis. One second. Oh, I don't have the books either. We'll be right back. First one is going to be a unbreaking three. Do we take the risk? I'm, I want to see what the sword says. Got to check out the sword. Unbreaking. Hmm. Yeah, let's do the boots just because that's a clear winner. Oh, we didn't get anything else, though. Okay, we got Sharpness 4 on the sword or Efficiency 4. Both of those are good. Sharpness 4 is a bit rarer, though, so I think I might go for that. Plus, you can kill mobs faster and get XP faster for the next enchant. Oh, we only got Sharpness 4! <laughs> this is not my day. All right, enough messing around with things. We're going to go for the only thing that really matters. A Fortune 3 pick. Efficiency 4. Unbreaking 3. Fortune 3. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> I can't complain. A naturally found copper block. Is this a copper vein? I think this is a copper vein. Oh, snap. I've never found one of these before. Ah, not too bad. Just about four stacks of copper ore. Ooh, good shovel. Potato. 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 Another copper vein! Right? I think it is. There's granite everywhere. There's copper everywhere. No, I need to see. Stop breaking the torches! <laughs> I keep placing torches on ore blocks and then I go mine the ore blocks. It's like, why did I place the torch on the ore block? No saddle. Flame bow? That could be good. Just flame. Look what we found, everybody. Look at that. A pillager outpost. That's our ticket out of exile. So we just got to kill one of the bannermen, trigger a raid, beat the raid, and I can go home. Except I don't have a home. So, But we can go back to civilization. Oh, yes. And there's a another portal nearby, too. So uh, we'll have to keep this in mind. I'm going to be back here pretty soon, I think. Yeah, the other thing we got to do is protect the villagers. There's only two left in this village. And <laughs> if the, the evokers kill them all, you know, that's it. Raid failed. You lose. Can't go home. Power four or... Oh, we got to go for the fortune three. 
Oh, it's it's good though. It's still good. <laughs> we got so many ores in here. I can break down now and get tons of XP. All right, everybody. I think we are finally ready to take on the raid and to get out of exile. Now, I'm gonna level with you guys. I failed the raid. <laughs> <laughs> just odd circumstances with the the village we have it's both the easiest and the hardest raid i've ever done and uh well i got overwhelmed the first time this is gonna be a bit of a challenge oh because there's so many gotcha uh-oh something broke too no 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 <laughs> Okay. There goes another piece. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Ooh, piercing. This time everything's going to go super smoothly though. No problem. <laughs> right? All right, here we go. We had bad omen too, so this should be a full-blown raid. We're going to tie up our horse here. So the big issue with a, a raid at this village in particular is all the cliffs. <laughs> uh, that can make it extremely easy or evokers can get stuck and spawn bajillions of vexes and you can't get to the evokers and, and stop them uh, is what I found out. All right. Also, you have to play hide and seek all the time. So yeah, look at this. Like they can't do anything. They're just stuck in the water. like. Like fish in a barrel. <laughs> Easy, right? Well, the problem is they're falling off the cliff over there in particular, and they end up like all the way underground, like all the way down to like minus 32. Like, and they hide in the caves, and I gotta go find them. Nope, they're gone. <laughs> all right, wave one, and we're already having trouble here. Let's head down. So, yeah, they're gonna be in the cave somewhere now. Like, a long ways away, probably. Nope, still still further than that, even. So then you gotta go over here. I found out they tend to like to go down here. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, there's one more down here, probably. Where is he? Where is he? Ah, he's over there. Hmm. Alright, wave two. Oh, it sounds like they're up above. Yeah, they're falling down here already. Okay, that's fine. We can stop them from going into the caves this way. <laughs> and this is a low-level wave. We don't have to worry about evokers falling down here on top of us. Oh, we got a Ravager. Ravager wave three already. And... No, oh, my aim! My aim! <laughs> Okay, not too bad. Gotta really watch that guy, though. He's coming after me. He's stuck on the roof, though. Huh, I wonder... I guess if anything is above them like that, it gives them trouble. Alright, not too bad. I think the trick is I gotta stand here so they don't spawn here. I really don't want them spawning here and falling down the cliff again. Whenever a new wave starts, we go over here. They still went down. <laughs> Darn it. Probably shouldn't be down here. Especially if we get poisoned. But we, we seem fine. Okay, where, where's that other one that got away? We don't know. She's going. She's running for it. Stay. Okay, we got her. This is these fools left. Easy. Easy. I don't even have to aim. There's just so many of them. <laughs> Alright. Looks like we'll be good. Oh, there's one missing. Where'd he go? Nope. They, they're gone. I don't know where they went. Wave 5. Okay, this is, this is where I like them. When they're on top of that hill, they kind of just funnel into the village. If we need to bail, we can. <laughs> Got plenty of decked out practice. All 
Okay, this, this should be an easy wave. Right? Uh, Vindicator over there. Bunch of Vindicators there. Oh, hello. They're actually pretty tanky. Oh, they're right here already. Oh, snap. Was not ready for that. Take out the big guys first. Last one. Oh, it's an evoker too. I'm gonna go get the, the totem then. Definitely gotta take out the evokers though. The evokers are no joke in this. Man, they are zipping around. Okay, one one evoker down. Oh, a little too late though, I think. <laughs> I don't know if they got buffed or what, but they are so crazy now. Let's take out the other one on the, the Ravager, good. No, he's going to play hide and seek. Don't go down there. Okay, good. Got the big boy coming after us. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. I think we got all the threats. No, there's one more evoker. Okay, he's down. Whew. Oh. We got a Ravager looking for redstone. But I got it all. <laughs> Okay, how are we looking here? Nobody here. Hmm. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we got the evoker at least, but man, these guys are gonna give me trouble. Oh, I hate vexes so much. They are so hard to deal with, especially when you're in water. With no depth strider. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I just gotta keep healing. No! Don't bell. Yeah, I think I know where he is. So there's this tunnel here. It's very dangerous if you run into a Vindicator in this, though, because <laughs> they kill you very quickly. There is no retreating if they come after you. I think he's down there somewhere. Yeah, there he is. I see you. Oh, it was a evoker. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got him. Okay, cool. Got him. Nice. Wait, did that give me... I got the bad omen again. That better not trigger the raid twice. He might... He might have been outside of range. There's one left. Oh, don't do that to me. Does that mean I killed him outside of range and it didn't count? Here's the plan. We're going to test something. I've gone all the way back to the pillager outpost. I'm going to lure one of these guys over to my boat. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to take him on a boat ride to the village. And then we'll see if we can uh, kill him and have it count towards the raid being finished. Yeah, I've had a rough day, man. Got exiled into a cave. Yeah, so it adds whenever we bring one over. Darn it. Uh, I don't think there's another guy. Uh, I better double check, though. Test it. <gasps> no way, we got something. Where, 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 where? Over there, no. There was one more. Unbelievable. Okay, it's not over then. There he is. Yes, <laughs> raid complete. Hero of the village. That was the last wave too. Oh my goodness. We are out of exile, everybody. Oh, that was the most torturous raid I've ever experienced in my life. Never again. Never again, I say. Oh, Tango welcomes me home. Thank you. All right, everybody. Tango has relit the portal. Not that it does anything, <laughs> but he's letting us come back home, everybody. Let's see if let's see if he'll be on the other side here. I think we actually uh, spawned in like two, three hundred blocks that way. 
Uh, so this might not connect to where he is, but we'll see if he's there. Hopefully he is. Hey, he's home! I'm home. And diamond gear. Well, somewhat. Somewhat <laughs> it, ready. It's it's like you went off to college and now you're coming home or something. I'm so proud of you. Oh, something like that. It's more like I got expelled. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you accomplish? What, you set a personal goal for yourself of like you had to defeat a raid or something? Why? Why? Explain. Well, I figured you know if I could beat a raid, I, I'm probably geared up enough to come home, right? I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was. Uh, and, uh... It was brutal though. The worst raid I've ever <laughs> fought in my life. But yeah, look look over here. The raids always would spawn on the oh cliff over gosh. here and fall down. <laughs> and I have to go run around and find them all. Oh, that's horrible. And if, a vo yep. if an evoker got stuck down there, it would spawn like 30 vexes and you could not get close yep. to them. Oh, that sounds horrible. Yeah. So no much fun. fun. No fun. I'm, I'm sure we're going to miss this place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got an empty one right there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you, want, you want a handful of them? I mean, I have hundreds, so. I will pay. I will pay with. All the torms you can I, ever want. I, yeah, I have you have a raid farm, farm don't you? Yeah. 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 Ah, <laughs> I'm still in the Stone Age. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I guess the only thing left for us to do is pack up our stuff and get out of here. Tango was very gracious to give us a, a shulker box, so that'll make things a little easier. We actually have a fair bit of stuff to haul. <laughs> I might have to leave some of it behind, but there was a donkey in the savannah here, just one. So we're gonna use him as well. We're gonna, we're gonna give him a, a chest. All right, we got the enchanting table all packed up. And yeah, it's this one here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it is not donkey friendly though. He went through. Hopefully. Oh, he's in the frame. Oh, <laughs> what kind of portal is this? This isn't donkey friendly. All right, we'll have to come back for this. Well, check it out, everybody. We made it back home, back to where we started today, and uh, we're much better geared up. We got tons of stuff now, and there's more I got to pick up, and I don't have a home. <laughs> what are we going to do now? I didn't, I didn't think of that. Hmm, that could work. B-dubs! B-dubs, are you here? Are you home? Hello? I can't hear you. He's not responding for some reason. B-dubs, I'm gonna live in your basement if that's okay. Just let me know. Just blink twice if you don't want me to live here. Well, I didn't hear anything. Okay. Uh, how does this work? Ah, the candles go out, and then I go in. <laughs> Don't tell B-dubs I'm living down here.